Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to be taking a look at Frag Gold Edition for the win, which is a uh, Steve Jackson game. It's an expansion to the regular Frag Gold Edition. I think some of what's in here was in the original expansion Fire Zone for the original Frag game. And there may even be a couple of things in here from the Deathmatch. I know that they have a couple of the optional rules, I think. But they repackaged it to match the Frag Gold Edition. And um, it includes some new maps and a handful of new cards, as well as the new Exploding Barrel mechanic and a few other odds and ends. The one thing to keep in mind, you see this advertised online a lot is that it looks like a box like the original game which I have here comes in this big thick box not only is it a little bit smaller you can see there it's also only yay thick which is hard to tell and it's literally just a sheet of tokens and the board wrapped in the rules I hate the way they did this I wish there was a separate rules flyer in there but yeah the, the rules are literally on the back of the packaging so you kind of have to keep this around they have a printable version on the website now that you can get but uh, I do hate that aspect I don't know why they did that normally you throw this part away there should have been a little rule book in there to keep but it is what it is on the back here they explain to you the new game components uh, there's a massive variant where you can connect the two boards together this in the original game board to make gigantic boards they have a couple different game types on here. There's the knockback rules on here which go with some of the new weapons. They can also apply to some of the old weapons if they do enough damage. Explanations on how knockback works and then there's the new stuff. They use the hearts to keep track of your health so you're not uh, constantly erasing on your dry erase board. You get a whole pile of these new heart tokens which are a great easy way to keep track of your current health. We have the exploding barrels, which in the game come in the form of tokens that you put on there. I'm very quickly going to replace these with uh, little uh, wooden barrels that you can find at any hobby store. They're basically, I think they use them for doll houses or things like that, but you can find almost these exact looking barrels. And they're about, they stand just under an inch tall, I think. Perfect for that. And, um... There's a section on the barrels, how they explode. There's actually a chart. They either blow up or something bad happens or something special happens. Something weird, that's how they have it listed. And there's the weird uh, chart here you're on. Number six is the bad thing. They go nuclear. There's also a thing for chain reactions because a blip barrel can blow up another barrel and so on. There's rules for lava because in the original game we had uh, acid. Now we have lava and water. And... Um, Door switches, I think they're only on the one map, but there's a uh, section for those. And um, that's pretty much it for our little rules flyer there. Like I said, I really wish it was an actual rules thing. I kind of creased mine right along the seams, which is in between the two pages. That way it makes it a hair smaller, just a little bit bigger than the original rule book, and it'll fit in the box without a problem. For our game board, it's uh, another one like the uh, original. Folds out completely ginormous. Sadly, this one does not want to lay flat right out of the box. You may have to get a um, piece of plexiglass to lay over top to hold things flat. Or I'm sure after you use it a few times, it will still like these way better than the old paper maps. But there you can see the uh, Fire Zone map. There's these switches here. There's one on the opposite side that open the opposite door. So this switch actually opens that door and so on. And then on our flip side, because we get two new maps, we have another arena style map. This one has water on one side, acid on the other. Water's a new mechanic added to the game that basically uh, halves your movement. So every space takes two movement to walk. But uh, you can't be affected by flame weapons or caught on fire wire in the uh, water too, which is nice. And uh, just another cool map to add to your game. 
I have these two tokens that go with the uh, switch rooms here that you put to represent when the doors are open or one wayed and uh, you have two of those as I mentioned before you got your handful of barrel tokens you have a massive amount of heart tokens here I'm pretty sure there's enough here to play for maybe a six player game not sure if you want to go over that if there's enough there to do so but you can always keep track of your health by other means. It also comes with a handful of new um, weapons and gadgets, as well as I think you know, just the one new special card. At the parting shot, which allows you to shoot once after you're dead at the person who shot you and try to kill them off. Then our couple new weapons. There's a new melee weapon, the shock glove. The assault shotgun and then a heavy beam pistol. And then a couple new gadgets. I think some of these even already existed. Backpack allows you to carry extra weapons. That's basically a heavy healing kit. Gives you better uh, accuracy, which is nice. And then batteries, which boost the damage on energy weapons. That's pretty much a look at everything that came in the uh, For the Win expansion here. It's uh, definitely an interesting thing to add on. If you're a fan of the game, you're going to like it. Having extra options, more maps, the ability to link maps together, the barrel mechanics are cool, and uh, the room with the switches here on this map is a new interesting idea. I like the fire pits as well. If you didn't care for the game, there's not enough in here that's going to change anything to really change your mind, so keep that in mind as well. But overall, it's a nice addition. Adds a lot of new fun stuff. Adds more replayability, two new maps to choose from, and uh, the heart tokens do make the uh, bookkeeping a little easier without having to erase and rewrite on your, your board constantly as you gain and lose health. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for our look at the Frag Gold Edition for the Win expansion. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.